Thanks, Russ. It's great to be back at Viking Park on what is a beautiful evening for football. And you're right, this is a massive game tonight. Sydney join us after three weeks since their last round game and Canberra head into tonight's match with all of the momentum. Momentum which could be crucial to both teams. Running at green again. Square to Marsh. You might try a luck from here. Likes a shot from distance, Mar, and that's spat up awkwardly off the surface in front of Wyman, who showed a clean pair of hands. An early retirement just due to those concussions that you mentioned, Russ. Um, really concerning with Canberra United when she was at the club here in Canberra um, that she received sort of. That's a mistake here, and Seamson has a real opportunity. The flag goes up and it won't count, and that goal, Wheeler flagged offside. At the back there. Great build up this from United is Garlic. May have gone the wrong way. It's broken for Hughes anyway, and here she's found Michelle Heyman. Shooting shot for Heyman. Brilliant save. This is such a brilliant save here from Jada Wyman to get a tip on that at that angle. She's pushed it over the bar, gone with the correct hand. She hasn't won a game against Sydney before, so she'd like to change that this evening. Four matches with de all defeats. As Ma fires one from distance, and it's not far away again. In towards that box, noddy clear nicely by Green. It's fallen for Gallich, who's shot is charged down now Sydney on the counter with Courtney Vine getting away from Ma Seamson to her left Vine going it alone at the moment here is Seamson plenty of shirts back though for Canberra now Hawksby finds a beanie a little bit of space for her to perhaps work something a beanie on that right foot swings one goalwards just a bit too much height to trouble Keely Richards McLean forward towards Hawksby Ilioski on defensive duties, that's a bit short. Ray's got there, found Seamson, left footed strike, Remy Seamson just over the crossbar again. Looks for Heyman on the far post, here's Michelle Heyman and it's hit the post. Michelle Heyman with a diving header, had Wyman beaten. She's always been good defensively, Lauren Keir, but in the W League this season she's certainly matured as an attacking outlet and that ball is superb. In towards Heyman, real chance, Michelle Heyman lobs it just wide. The bench and the crowd thought she'd scored. The league leaders putting the pressure on. It's Taylor Ray again. Neat little ball into Seamson. Wheeler in towards Abini with a header just a little too high for Princess Abini, but that was perhaps their best move of the match. A point will put Canberra above them on the table and into finals. And with Melbourne victory playing bottom of the table, Perth. Might be the end for Adelaide, but still, we wait. Here's a real chance for Seamson. The flag goes up, denied by Richards anyway. There's certainly an energy around the stadium and across the park that you can feel here, Russ. Heyman turns on that left foot, pings it goalward, and Wyman does well to save and recover as well. And the referee blows the whistle, and Canberra United will be playing finals football. And you can see what it means to their players.